Okay. Um, thank you for joining me, Ariana. Thank you. This is the fun part of today's event. Uh, before we break, this is the part where we recognize the Innovation Award winners. Um, I'm happy to have this opportunity to recognize this year's Safety Innovation Award winners at top three, whom will be provided not just a recognition, but also a cash prize totaling $85,000. So I would first uh, like to thank University of Vermont Medical Center, our Patient Safety Innovation Awards sponsor, for helping to make these awards possible for the second year in a row. So, As in previous years, we had an amazing application, but this year the quality of the submissions were very high, which made our selection process even harder. Um, the entire board gets involved, and we actually uh, get on conference calls, hear the pitch. It's kind of a shark tank uh, uh, made for medical innovation. So we received 55 submissions from six countries, Canada, Ireland, Mexico, Nigeria, the Netherlands, and the United States. And I want to thank all the innovators who submitted their product and process innovations for patient safety. It was truly, truly a privilege for our whole board to review these applications. And you should know what we think through when we're looking at these innovations, because they're all so good, is Number one, the belief that it was going to improve patient safety more dramatically than the other innovations. And two, innovations that are available to implement today. They don't require any more regulatory clearance or any more enhancements. It's something we can do today so that we can fast approach our goal of zero. So now I'd like to invite the top three finalists to the stage, uh, Abby Curran, Chris Landrigan and Renee Momijian. Uh, please come on up. Please come on up. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, it's Dan Bilyeu, Abby, my assistant. Sorry about that. Thank you. And I understand, unfortunately, Dr. Landrigan is still on the plane. He's gotten a little delayed, so he won't be here. But uh, I'm going to go through these, and then I'm going to kind of leave some suspense, some suspense for the end, uh, so we know what happened. So, uh, and uh, we will have the, the number one winner, according to our board, also give us some uh, few words. So, first of all, Clearline IV is being represented by not Abby. Ariana. Sorry, Abby is her assistant. I find <laughs> we're totally messing things up. I apologize. Thank you, thank you, Ann. Um, and Caroline IV is the only FDA cleared product for the automatic detection and removal of air from IV lines. So Clearline IV is placed below IV bags and may be used with fluid warmers and infusion pumps and all fluid types. Clearline IV makes IV administration of fluids safer uh, for patients and is designed to protect patients from serious clinical complications and death caused by air in fluid lines. Air burden is known to cause serious morbidity, including paralysis, coma, brain damage, and uh, quadriplegia, among others. Air embolism has a 30% mortality rate and is ranked the number two hospital acquired condition by CMS. So, Chris was not here. Thank you. Uh, represents the IPAS Institute. Uh, well, let me tell you about IPAS. A need assessment is conducted by an IPAS mentor and an internal IPAS hospital champion. Uh, with our web based uh, immersive learning, providers receive training on IPAS and can practice and self assess their handoff skills. Their web based observational measurement tools support data collection from observation of actual handoffs. And data is available on demand for hospital administrators to measure and benchmark adherence of IPASS use and to provide feedback to their staff. 
And Rene, thank you, <laughs> represents, we have not met in person, it's all been by telephone, so I apologize. Uh, Rene represents right biometrics, uh, misplaced NG tubes will be one of the five patient safety initiatives of 2018. PH has emerged as the global gold standard for confirming gastric placements. Right Biometrics makes the only FDA cleared Clear Wave CE Mark product that uses pH to confirm gastric placement of NG OG tubes intended to end in the stomach. Anyone from trained medical personnel to loved ones caring for family members at home can use it. So now is the time to present the prizes. Ariana, are you here? So first, I will present the third prize. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. I guess this is going to be for. It's for Chris Vandergrim. Pardon? It's for Chris Vandergrim, so he's not here. Okay. Unfortunately, Chris is not here. Anyone to? We'll give this to Chris later. We will. So third prize goes to Chris. That's a relief. All right. All right. Who's second prize? This is and the uh, second prize goes to Anne. So, uh, Anne, yeah, thank you thank so you. much. Congratulations. Thank you. And now you know who the first prize is. So, Clearline? Yes. So, stay. please stay, please stay, yes. We're gonna take some pictures. And first prize goes to you, Renee. Thank you so much thank for your incredible work. Thank you. Thank you. So much. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to say a few words? Sure. Please, sure. thank you. Well, this, this is quite an honor. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Oriana. Thank you um, to all of you. Right Biometrics and the Right Spot device was actually invented by an emergency room physician, Dr. Paul Gilbert. He's actually still practicing. But 10 years ago, within a six-month period, he had two bad outcomes with patients due to misplaced tubes. He has made it his lifetime mission since then to ensure that every tube that's intended for the stomach is in the stomach. So it's really, it's an honor to be here accepting this award on his behalf. And it's also um, kind of apropos to be here in the UK because here in the UK, misplaced tubes are a reportable event and they're a never event. And in the US, they're neither. So it's wonderful to see the, pardon me, the focus. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I know tomorrow we're gonna have the openings begin with the ESA president, um, uh, our co-convener. Uh, Jeremy, anything you wanna say before we break and go to the Lancaster House? Okay, we're gonna have buses uh, take people to, those who don't wanna walk, uh, go to the Lancaster House. I think we're gonna do that at 6.45? Uh, the buses will leave at 6.30. 6.30, buses will leave at 6.30. Uh, you will have your invitations. I think you have them by now. Uh, they're going to be very strict with them, so please do bring your invitations. And uh, if it's someplace I've not been to before, I'm very much looking forward to it. Thank you so much for hosting us tonight. Thank you for a terrific day, and look forward to seeing you tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.